Ah, good afternoon. So I'm here with my Browning Bookmark Magnum. It's uh, a new uh, brake valve I got last week, which I haven't time to review. So basically, it's this is a 2-2 version. You can also get them in 177. I do like my 2-2 pistols. So this is the information on the back of the box. So you can uh, pause it and have a read of that. I'll just go through the manual. Very straightforward. Basic manual. Tells you everything you need to know. What all the parts are. Where the safety is. How to load it, how to adjust the rear sights, which I shall come to do shortly, and also, unusually for an Uberx manual, there's also a list of parts as well. Okay, a breakdown of it, which is quite useful if you want to, um, you know, take the stock off, which you can do, and then um, polish up the the sears, trigger trigger sears. Okay, so looking at the pistol, so it's quite a hefty pistol. It's about 1.3 kilos. It's well made. Uh, it's about one. 150 in the UK, so it's a brake barrel, just put the action over to cock it and then you put your pellet in. You've got a manual safety here, cross bolt safety, so that's off. So you can see the red mark there, you can see the red mark there on the actual fire and safe, so that locks the trigger. Okay, so that's off and on, that's on, okay. Now the rear sights, now I'm, I'm going to mention this, now I've got a, a uh, Umrix Trevox uh, gas ram, I've also got a, tor a Tornado uh, Air Force One gas ram, uh, and they've both got the same sort of sights on the back. And I don't know if you notice, but to make them shoot straight, you've got to adjust the actual sights across to the right. And that's the same, oddly enough, with the other two pistols as well. If you look at the, the Tornado I've got here, much more obvious, okay? And these things do shoot very straight once you adjust them. Now, the gas ram 2-2, this is, this is doing uh, around uh, three foot pounds with the 15.9 uh, grain pellet. Um, it's shooting very well actually at 15, 15 yards, it's sort of dead on, okay, with that small adjustment at the back. Now, with the browning, <coughs> that sight is fully down. This pistol is shooting very high at 15 meters, very high. We're talking three or four inches high. Uh, I was, I've done a bit of test shooting with this with the crony as well. Uh, it's doing about 3.85. It was doing about 4.7 at the box, but it was dieseling quite bad. Uh, it's actually settled down to about 3.85 now over five shots. And it's, it's, quite, it's quite good, the actual, uh, let's look at the figures from then. Yeah, 3.87, spread of 10, uh, a uh, deviation of three. That was uh, yesterday. Uh, out of the box on the 22nd, it was doing 4.7 again, but only did a spread of two, so that's pretty good. So, yeah, it, it's consistent with the Superfield uh, RDS's pellet, RDS pellets, 15.9 grain. But even though it's a relatively heavy pellet, um, this is still shooting high. Now, obviously, I can't take the sight back any lower. Um, I've even tried using just the tip of that lined up with that to, to shoot lower and it's still shooting high. Uh, and I've, I've actually shot this from like 35 yards, that one of my concrete boxes, and putting the sights perfectly lined up, it's actually hitting where I'm aiming at 35 yards. So this is shooting very high. I don't know why. Um, it's not overly powerful at 3.85 foot pounds for a 2.2. Uh, it's, it's gonna be something to do with the, the I don't know, it looks a bit odd, but it looks like this, this actually barrel points some of it. I don't know it's a natural design. But the good thing about it, it has got a dovetail rail on the top. So I shall definitely have to put a, a red dot or holographic sight. I have got a spare holographic sight, which I will fit on this. It came off my Tornado, and I will fit on this and dial it in to get this to shoot actually uh, you know, where I want it to go. I don't want it shooting. I mean, at five metres, it was shooting about two or three inches uh, high. Uh, when I took it up to seven and a half meters, it was shooting about five inches high. That's the aim at the bottom of the, bottom of the pellet trap to put the, the pellet actually in, inside the trap, at the top of the trap. So, and, and obviously when it went to 10 meters, it was actually going over, over that. So it was still on the up, yeah. So yeah, the, the, the problem with this, this pistol is, it's a Springer, it's not a gas ramp by the way, um, it shoots, incredibly high. Now I don't know whether the 177 does, um, but it seems to me that there's only really two ways of fixing this problem is having an extended foresight, a higher foresight to bring the aim point down, yeah, 
or if it's a red dot, which I also probably didn't do. Uh, it's uh, twangy, like four springers. The gas rams are much smoother, and uh, you know they've got a thud where the, the obviously the springers twangs. Uh, it's twangy. One. It probably wants a bit of lubrication. I should probably drop the actual stock off. You know, see, there's the same sort of um, actual design as the as the tornado. Two screws there and a screw there. Yeah. Full enough, very much like the Trevox as well, the Humix Trevox. Again, you've got a screw there, two screws there. Take them off, you can take the actual uh, lower stock off, and then you can get the spring and all the all the actual sears and you can lubricate them. So it probably wants a bit of lubrication. It has stopped dieseling, uh, which is why the power's dropped from about 4.7 down to 3.85, and it's still pretty consistent. And when I was shooting at five and, and seven and a half meters, it was grouping nicely. Um, off an actual rest of a, off a, a, a rice field uh, shooting bag, so yeah, it's it's a, it's a blinker. Yeah, let's be serious. Same sort of trigger as the Trevox and the Tornado single stage. Uh, basically, if I take the safety off, obviously this isn't cocked. But basically, as you pull it, it's it pulls pretty smoothly, and it goes about there. Very consistent, uh, just as consistent as the Tornado. Yet the Tornado shoots better. Because it's got a gas ram, yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't twang, doesn't thud like a, it, it, it doesn't like recoil in the same way as a Springer does. Yeah, it's much more smoother than the gas rams are, and they tend to shoot a bit better. So yeah, a bit of lubrication. Uh, I should do an outdoor shooting review. So I'll probably have to fit a holographic sight in it to make sure that it goes where you know I want to I want to aim, which is most most important. But yeah, it's well made. It's I mean it's solid. Um, it locks well, it's very solid, and there's no thing. The only thing about this is the actual sights. They're basically not very good. They're, in fact, they're rubbish. There's, when they design this, it gives the impression this barrel ride, 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 rides up. If you look at the line of it, it looks like it's going up. So whether it's supposed to be like that, I mean, it seems to be in line with the top of the actual... Uh, chassis so I don't know I don't know what's causing that but um, yeah uh, I think an actual um, red dot or something like that will actually solve that issue so yeah uh, would I recommend it not really because there's better pistols I mean uh, it's a Springer yeah it's, it's a cheap plinker but personally the, the, the gas rams shoot better and I'd recommend the Air Force one this is a 2 2 version they do a 177 or even the Umrex Trevox is only 177, but that shoots, that's a gas rum as well, and that shoots better. So, yeah, it's not bad, but personally, between those three those three pistols, uh, my wife's Trevox shoots really well, but I, I like 2.2, and the, the Tornado shoots very good, actually. Um, even though it's actually slightly low power, it still shoots better. So, yeah, I will do a shooting review uh, as soon as I work out how to get it to shoot where I'm pointing it, which is uh, obviously a very important thing. When you're shooting an air gun, you want to put a sight on a target and hit the target. So, hope you like that little video. There we go. Uh, one other thing about the actual tornado, the thing about the tornado, it's got better sights because apart from these identical fibre optic at the back, it's also got a forward fibre optic, red fibre at the front, which makes it much more accurate. Easy to pick up the, the foresight through the actual rear sight. So, hope you like that little video. Thanks for watching.